The Panda Man plays through. Yeah. Rains. Rains. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to The Panda Man plays through The Walking Dead. We are ready for episode two, which means this is the point at which I make comments on what I've played thus far. That they, I lost my complete train of thought there. <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome to the Phantom <laughs> Man. Wah, 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 wah. Hello everyone, and welcome to the Panda Man plays through The Walking Dead. And we are now ready for episode two. And this is like my third or fourth take. Anyways, um, now's the time when I will give my two cents on what I think thus far of the game and that would be do I have to go to episode status? Okay, no, I guess I just start from where I left off. Anyways, they really took the concept of re giving yourself real guys to an extreme. Pe real people in a post-apocalyptic age. They really took it to the extreme. And what I mean by that is, if you had people who were half competent at surviving, then it wouldn't be as interesting as if you had people who were struggling through it. And they really went all the way on this one. First of all, you play the most uncoordinated guy in the world. And the way he must have killed his wife's lover was by falling on top of him and smothering him to death. Because seriously, this guy can barely walk where he's going. I'm surprised in the one scene where he was running away, the zombies didn't mistake him for one of them. And then, of course, I picked the nerd to die over the chick who doesn't know what the hell a battery is. What the hell is that? And then we've got Kenny, whose best defense against the zombies is to stand there and shit himself and then we've got stupid asshole man who's like I know who you are and I don't want you to marry my daughter so I'm gonna punch you in the face and leave you to die and then nobody realized that that was him who did that to us like well I guess it's actually quite the perfect crime because who would suspect him of punching us in the face versus us just tripping over our own two freaking feet seriously the most competent one amongst all of us is the little girl and she keeps getting grabbed by one it's like oh what's this oh I'm being grabbed oh what's this oh I'm being grabbed oh look he wants a hug oh I'm being grabbed I don't know whose idea it was to make the dumb bitch not know what the hell a battery was but I think that's just a little bit too far like that's reaching a bit <laughs> That face is priceless. Um, I think that... What do you think? <laughs> now stop looking at my screen. You're not supposed to look at my screen. Stop it. This scares you. Stop looking at my screen. Stop, stop staring at the screen. Stop it. You're scared of this stuff. Anyways, Foxy was watching me play last time, and she's got <laughs> nightmares, and she's also trying to reenact the face on my screen right now. <laughs> You're doing a pretty good job, yep. <laughs> Anyways, let's just go ahead and start Starred for Help with... Oh, <gasps> face. I lost my train of thought on the whole puzzle thing. The battery girl. Oh my god. They were hard up for a puzzle. I mean, seriously. And who the hell over the age of five... Which is the only age group that should be playing this game, quite honestly. <laughs> is at least over five. Previously on The Walking Dead. Previously on The Walking Dead. I know who you are. Yeah. Oh, I got What's another out? good one for you. Ooh! Damn, that doesn't get any easier. <laughs> You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when- You got it, boss. <laughs> 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 
son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Yeah. Oh, very, yeah. I might learn to regret this decision if we ever need somebody oh to give God. us some batteries for our flashlights. I don't shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. You know that's physically impossible, right? You're more than welcome to watch it. Uh-huh. Story's tailored to how you play. Mm-hmm. This is gonna be interesting. I already feel like I've made very bad decisions. Although I was kind of with the majority on some of them. Oh, Christ. Oh, three months later. Axe him in the face. Hey, buddy. I got a, I got a question for you. You mind if I axe you this question? Bam! That's for your haircut, bitch. <laughs> oh, he was eating a bunny. Well, who the fuck's this guy? What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. What the hell is this I guy? still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Yeah, a rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally okay. grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. And <laughs> teach her how to use batteries. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Uh, you know what? Push comes to shove, we'll manage. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. We're better off without him. Oh, f I think we're stronger as a group. I just don't know what'll happen if we start to break apart. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Yep. He's an old racist asshole. He's just an old racist asshole. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Heart problems or not, we should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Yep. Uh, knock me flat. Not any harder than that one time when I tripped and knocked myself flat. While being chased by a zombie, no less. Get the bird, get the bird, get the bird. It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Get it. It's food. Oh, you. Ah! Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. I, I hope know. so. <laughs> I'm gonna take an axe to his face. Oh, I missed the zombie and got candy, my bad. Ah! Yeah, I think we're gonna be too late. I'm so excited. Oh, it's not. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, god damn it, get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. 
These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. No, we don't, don't know who you are. Man. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Can't chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Please, fucked up. We've gotta help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We'll try. Get him out of there. Oh God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Oh man. This trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Oh crap. Shit. Walkers. It's now or never leave. Please get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Oh shit. This is bad. Do you think you can get it open? Just get me out, please! All that blood and screaming! Please, do We're gonna be something. surrounded any minute! Please! So much blood! Get me out of this! Alright, here we go, buddy. You ready for this? It's gonna hurt you. I'm trying to cut the chain! Oh, God! I'm gonna have to cut you out. Oh! No, no, no! Try the trap again! Anything, please! Let's go! Let's go! Why can't I do the chain? I was gonna try the chain! Oh, shit! Come on, dude! Put some muscle into it! This is his fucking leg! Seriously, dude! I'm sorry, but we have to go! Now! Do it! Christ almighty! Are you oh, god damn it! Shit and fucking god damn! Shit. Is he. He passed out. Oh my god! Tourniquet that Ryan shit, go. god damn it. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. Cauterize it or something. Jesus. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Oh, he's worse than us. Fucking shit! Damn it! I am so bad with that axe! Takes me three hits to chop off anything! A head, a leg, Christ on a cross! Put your damn back into it! Jesus! Oh, God. What the hell was that achievement? Oh yeah. Oh my god. Not okay for that shit. Oh my god. Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee! I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What's no, your mouth? I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. I thought Fuck we could you, save bitch. his life. I'm the one that took his leg. That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Dude, well, fuck you, bitch. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. 
Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Most people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. Well, quite frankly, it's not yours, Katie. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? And go die. You old fat bastard. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. For ten hungry people. Four food items for ten hungry people. Well, the kids gotta eat first. That's obvious. And... Who's that? Is that... Can I feed this... Poor son of a bitch. Well, he looks like he might need some fucking food. Besides a damn leg. Shitty. Fuck. Alright, this camera, work with me here. Hey guys. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Here, kid. Eat up. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Uh. Crackers and cheese. She's already given me the impression that she's got, like, diabetes or something like that. And, uh, well, an apple would be good for that. I think crackers and cheese would be the best. I don't know, it okay. might turn up that she's got a something. Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have I any more know. food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we then get some food? I don't know about this one. But I can't let the kids starve. Hey, Duck, how about a little food? Uh, let's see. Wait, we got another crackers and cheese? Alright, he looks like he likes jerky. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! That guy looks pretty young. Um. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Um. She's fat enough already. Let's give the skinny people food. 